the National Aerobic Championship Finals, featuring Olympic gold medalist and television sports commentator, Chris Marlowe. Fitness expert and star of her own daily exercise show, it figures Charlene Prickett. The 1988 United States National Aerobic Champions, and a special presentation by national aerobic champions from around the world. Welcome the reigning 1988 United States National Aerobic Champions. From a field of over 2,000 competitors across the USA, here are the 70 finalists competing for the gold. First in the mixed pairs competition. From the San Francisco Bay Club, Deborah McGee and Troy Markle. From Contours in Virginia, Donna Richardson and Charles Little. From Body Business in Austin, Texas, Melanie Roberts and Greg McCain. From Super Bodies in Denver, Kathy Robles and Jim Winkleman. From Firm Fitness in L.A., Tyler Patterson and Sebastian Russell. From New York Health and Racket Club, Lori Gomez and David Schumann. From Powerhouse Fitness in Atlanta, Amy Schwartz and Billy Haddock. From The Firm in Minneapolis, Sue Schwartzbauer and Doug Melrose. From Ocean Bay Athletic Club in Williamsport, Lori Welteroff and Chet Vien. And from Power Plant in Gainesville, Florida, Nancy Kunkel and John Kalaska. In the teams competition. From aerobics of Scottsdale in Arizona, Gene Brunch, Linda Christmas Reedy, and Donna Colley. From Brenda's Body Shop in Oakland, Maryland, Brenda Brosnahan, Tammy Rossi, and Dawn Panther. From Valley Health and Racket in Altamont Springs, Florida, Keith Drummond, Kevin Broussard, and Michael Thompson. From Fitness Technology in Salt Lake City, Rhonda Ekman, Sherry Nolder, and Patrice Martin. From Fitness Today in Greensboro, North Carolina, Robert Kernodal, Lisa L. Hamlet, and Terry Reed. From U.S. Swim and Fitness in Minneapolis, Gene LaFon, Patty McCollum, and Lee Spenwin. From Southwest Sony in Houston, Roseanne Meyer, Fred Bartels, and Harold Jackson. From Tilton Athletic Club in Atlantic City, Sharon Schofield, Anthony DeMaio, and Greg Whitney. From K. Jenkins Fitness Now in Houston, Merlene Tucker, Marlene Tucker, and Paul Bell. From Move It Workout Studio in Los Gatos, California, Deborah McGee, Diane Teresi Thomas, and Andy Miller. And in the individual competition, in the women's division, from the Texas Club in Dallas, Kim Calfee. From Holiday Health and Fitness in Virginia Beach, Evelyn Serwinski. From Boot Camp Fitness Center in Atlanta, Tina Cordia. From Studio One in Austin, Texas, Betty Cunningham. From Club USA in Littleton, Colorado, Trish Hahn. From San Francisco Bay Club, Felicia Lee. From the Atrium Club in Providence, Rhode Island, Dory Marino. From Williams Island Spa in Miami, Tanaj Millward. From the Sport House in Wesley, California, Linda Weiler. And from Fitness Exercise Company in Detroit, Joan Winson. And in the men's division, from Cherry Creek Sporting Center in Denver, Greg Corelli. Representing Good Bodies in Dallas, Kevin Cregan. From Western Reserve Sports Club in Tempe, Arizona, Peter Dale. From the Center Club in Alexandria, Virginia, Chris Dalen. From the Olympian Gym in Greenville, South Carolina, Nick Farmer. From American Fitness Center in Tampa, Florida, Clay Grant. From Houston City Club in Texas, James Everett Johnson. From the Buckeye Health Club in Nelsonville, Ohio, Eric Pierce. From Aerobic Concepts in Sacramento, California, Jim Mellis. And from Nautilus Plus in Boston, John J. Wolverine.
welcome host and commentator for the National Aerobic Championship, Chris Marlow and color analyst, Charlie Cricket. Thank you very much and welcome to one hour of sheer energy and intense competition. For these 70 athletes, today is the culmination of months of serious training and conditioning. Each athlete has earned the right to be here by winning one of the 10 regional championships held earlier this year. With me now, Charlene Prickett, a former head judge. And Charlene, what can we expect from this competition? Well, we see four categories, individual men's, women's, mixed pairs, and teams of three. And at stake is the opportunity to qualify for the first World Aerobic Championship. And we'll see a special performance by international champions from Australia, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Japan, as well as an exciting demonstration by the current United States Championship team. All right, we're ready to go. When we come back, we'll experience the thrill and excitement of competitive aerobics, starting with the Mixed Bears. Thank you, Charlene. Yesterday before a capacity crowd, these 10 semifinalists competed to determine who would advance to the finals. And they are representing the Firm Fitness Center in Woodland Hills, California, Tyler Patterson and Sebastian Russell. And representing the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, California, Troy Markle and Deborah McGee. And competing first, representing body business in Austin, Texas, Melanie Roberts and Greg McCabe. showcase of Melanie's flexibility when that leg comes straight up and even more critical Greg has enough flexibility to balance that pair they're very well balanced in strength flexibility and fitness level Chris
Okay, a solid routine to open up our competition. Next up, representing the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, California, please welcome Troy Markle and Deborah McGee. And our last mixed pair of finalists representing the Firm Fitness Center in Woodland Hills, California. Here are Tyler Patterson and Sebastian Russell. Are you ready? Get it, girl! Scores are in and tabulated. With the official results, here are the 1988 United States Mixed Pair Champions, Deborah Casey and Andre Houlet. Welcome. Do you have the results? I sure do. Here they are. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's get right to it. The best mixed pair in the United States is...
Barbara McGee and Troy Merkel representing the San Francisco Bay Club, San Francisco, California. Congratulations. the National Aerobic Championship. Standing behind me now are the 10 semifinalists in the women's division who were selected from the thousands of athletes that competed in regional competition throughout the United States. From these elite 10, it is now time to announce our two finalists. First, from Williams Island Spa in North Miami Beach, Florida, Tanaj Millward. And competing first, from the Atrium Club in Providence, Rhode Island, here's Dory Marino. Next up, representing the Williams Island Spa in North Miami Beach, Florida, please welcome Tanaj Millward.
Welcome back. We have just witnessed two super athletic performances. One of them is going to get the gold. Joining me now, the 1988 Women's Individual National Aerobic Champion, Rosie Castaneda, with the official results. Rosie, do you have the envelope? Yes. All right, here we go. The moment we've waited for. The best aerobic athlete in the women's individual category is... Tanaj Millward! Williams Island Spa, North Miami Beach, congratulations! Now, from this group of America's 10 best aerobic athletes in the men's individual division, here are the two finalists. From Good Bodies in Dallas, Texas, Kevin Cregan. And competing first, from the Cherry Creek Sporting Club in Denver, Colorado, Greg Corelli. Okay, one routine is complete. Next up, representing Good Bodies in Dallas, Texas, here's Kevin Cregan.
Welcome back. One of these finalists in the men's individual category is about to become a national champion. With all the glory, honor, and prestige, that title carries with it. Here to present the gold medal, the 1988 <laughs> national aerobic champion, Kim Wells. Welcome, Kim. Thanks a lot. Here it is. Okay, we are set. And now, the winner, the best men's aerobic athlete in America is... Greg Corelli, representing Cherry Creek Sporting Club in Denver, Colorado. Congratulations. Nice routine. We have now reached the team competition. Teams are made up of three individuals and maybe any combination of men and women. Here the judges watch for synchronization in addition to a high level of skill and presentation. Now let's introduce our teams. From Move It Fitness and Workout Studio in Los Gatos, California, Deborah McGee, Diane Teresi Thomas, and Andy Miller. From Kay Jenkins Fitness Now in Houston, Texas, Merlene Tucker, Marlene Tucker, and Paul Bell. And competing first from Southwest Sony in Houston, Texas, Roseanne Meyer, Fred Bartels, and Harold Jackson. Six, seven, eight. If you're wondering how difficult some of these maneuvers are, just try a one-arm push-up in your living room and you will find out. We're up for our next team, representing the K. Jenkins Fitness Now in Houston, Texas, Merlene Tucker, Marlene Tucker, and Paul Bell.
Thank you, Charlene. Last but not least, our third team finalist, representing Move It Fitness and Workout Studio in Los Gatas, California, Deborah McGee, Diane Teresi Thomas, and Andy Miller. Welcome back. The final results are in. And once again, here with the judges' decision are the 1988 team champions, Mona Hartnett, Marissa McEachin, and Debbie Harvey. You have something for me? Thank you. Okay, this is it. The number one aerobic team in the entire United States is Merlene Tucker. Merlene Tucker.